Hello, in this video, I want to look on the text prompt that we can use it to generate AI art. And many times you notice, seems like you're putting exactly the same prompt, all the stuff, but it's come up something different. So in this video, I will try to explain how this text prompt work and why it's different every time when you put it in its different, different engines or in other areas. So let's look example. Right here, I have a string old room full of cables, steampunk, robot, laboratory, sun, all this interior, all that same string. If I'm going, for example, in mid journey, this is what I'm getting as a result. And you can see it's kind of a room. Some is different ones. Okay. If you take exactly the same string and put it, for example, inside the stable diffusion, you can get a total different result. Same, same string. Okay. Um, if we're going inside, for example, DALI, you can see that is a, as well, a different result here we getting as well. And of course, if we're getting in a, a disco diffusion generators, you can see right here is multiple render. That is a total different result we're getting. So why does that string text prom give a different result? How we can get it uh, same looking? result or how we can control it because in some cases almost the feel is like you type a text and you don't know what's coming up so let's go see what we can do and because all these different engines and they little bit different how they work the parsing string different and i will explain what is meaning all that stuff but because of that they're producing different result my focus for this video will be specifically how to work with the text prompt in a mid journey um, with the latest release mid journey and notice i says latest release because when they update algorithm sometimes they update how they wait for the text for the strings work and how it's all working so that may change in the future this is for current release of mid journey and we look on the text prompts how we can bring stuff that we want how we want to display so before we jump in this let's go inside the photoshop right here my photoshop and the reason is i'm just using to show you diagram explaining how it will work so hopefully it will help you a little bit right here you'll notice that we have a text and it's sort of like red ball on a kitchen table so i want to create this i want to put a red ball on a kitchen table the first things actually what does um it's need take this text and parsing i mean separate and a separation is important before even assign any values any weights to this it's need separated because it is using and based on the english grammar so if we specify on it's located on something or use it period or use it commas it's needed to separate this okay it's needed to rearrange them so this is parsing is very important and reason why i say very important because comma and periods it will be playing a role when we make a string and you'll see as examples as well the positioning of the words for me i'm not english native speaking for me it's a different grammar so for me it was kind of interesting experience to see how it's worked because sometimes i put it words in the wrong uh, order and see what ai come up with so for me it's a little bit different it's more approach as a programming result instead as a poetic and speak about the poetic and the programming i'm sorry it's very exciting to watch the master at the controls the operation of the conveyor is much more art than science Stand and of course, it's if it's more as the art, that is art it is. Okay, so right here we have it parsing, it's a happening. So after parsing happening, it is going what we call a black box for us. We won't go in details, we won't go how it's work inside or whatever. I have other videos about this, and if you're interested, um, I probably will put it links to my collection of the deep learning and how it's all work. Uh, including with the denoiser, disco diffusions, including with the clip and other stuff. But general, think about this box, what has happened here. It is coming assigned specific weight, two dimensional weights in the world for each uh, word, phrase, uh, combinations. And from that is going back and forward, back and forward, 
to working as it going back and forward it is also need to compare because one thing um, if system does not know uh, what is speaking about if it does not have it any reference it will doing bad reference and this is another important thing to understand why result can be different because it is need reference to image library for example if you are always live in a desert and never ever saw the ocean and I ask you to draw ocean for me how would you do it if you never saw it, you'd never know how it's look or you never saw a camel in your life and I tell you draw the camel for me so you don't know it's need a reference and what's happening with the different ones uh, they're reference to different public domain or closed I don't know some of them don't specify what library of tag image and tag image is what happen is collecting to time maybe sometimes you meet when you're going to place and says hey select the boats on this picture or select this or put it tags or people put it alt tags or other things it's all different for example if you're going like to iStock photo or Adobe stock photo you need to put a tag what is on the picture and this is how the collection built so it's a tagged image libraries and they can be all different we don't know some is maybe art station accessible some is so on so this is what important because each engine will have a different and beside that you can specify what images tag images so you can one have it priorities to this so that is kind of part of this and of course this is all work 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 till it's come up and give it us our end result the image so this is what we're going we're going to kind of look we don't ignore this black box kind of maybe look a couple things just to mention why one image can be different from another because it does generating a little bit on a random Perlin noise inside and it's you notice sometimes put it seed seed it's what this is a randomization number however seed not necessarily guarantee it will be exactly the same as well and it's assigned weight inside the black box sent weight to all these words phrases positioning of them um parsing and again and after this by reference image libraries go back and forward to reference does it look like this does it look correct does it so it's a self-checking and in the end we'll have it our result so our focus in this video will be how i can set up this text prompt so it's when it's parsing it's produced properly result okay and how i said before we'll go stop start from the basic steps what is basic steps and the basic steps when i teach people do photography or cg graphics or other things i says don't jump to the complex let's look for example on a photography when you want to make one portraits you always start with simplicity if you don't know it's meaning to use a single light using very close up black and white you eliminate all these variables that can confuse and after as you progress you add in so with this we'll do exactly the same so for example right here i ask in a mid journey to render for me a red ball so and we can see what the result is give it three permissions so it is notice it's a two words red ball they're not together or red colored ball nothing so ai need to figure out what do i want it and as a result you can see first is give it a red background and a ball and three other ones give me ball color red so it is um from this point you actually can tell which one you want it when you upscale and if i want to upscale this it's also give it some feedback to the ai when you process tell you hey this is image i selected this is probably more close to what i wanted remember our interaction with this programs keep on training keep on teaching this ai what we wanted in our result and right here example you can see that is what happened so next when i put it this i said let's add additional variable to this an additional variable we want to placement and this is kind of interesting things because if you do um film it or you do news or cinematography you actually start from opposite you start from um location when you're tied into this just give you example if you look on any sitcom and other things notice it's always come up from outside maybe city outside the house and after going inside it's meaning tied to the location 
we provide as much information where it's located and we're going to the single character or whatever element this way we're going backward we will start build our text string from the single most important element that need be in ours and after we'll start add details expand and tied to our location so example right here i have a red ball okay i was successful on creating this red ball so my next one is let's says red ball on the table so and you can see ai understand it's parsing and on on top of the location so it's actually did a very good job it's put it red ball now it's understand it's not the red surrounding notice this is different now it if we, in other ones we have it a red background at this point it's actually parsing and set proper weights to this and it says oh it's a red ball on the table so it's a separate without commas or anything and let's take red ball and put it on the table so the next i want to tie it up to another one more so i'm saying okay let's how about this we'll put it red ball on the table in the kitchen and now you can see we add variables we expanding so now we have the red ball it's on the table and it is in the kitchen we can see some behind try to give it adaptation again remember it's go back and forward and when it's try to create the art it's actually try to reference some existing art okay or existing styles and it's going back and forward and says okay this is look like a kitchen and so it's created this way which is very nice beside that we can expand even more so right now this is on the kitchen so next for example i can go ahead and says how about you creating in very large kitchen so on this one again it's a red ball on the table in a very large kitchen so i expand um definitions what type of the descriptions for the kitchen and you can see it actually in some cases look around and says okay let's make large room or whatever the word large was exist and it start creating at this so you can see how small things will start adding more and more to these areas and as we're working with this you can also add additional parameters i mean right here it's in very large so what if i says add neon light to me or fluorescent light in this case and you can see it does work with the coloring as well so the way how it's work it's more descriptive going on so it's going uh red ball on the table in a large kitchen with a fluorescent lights and it's kind of bluish it does create this little bit now we become to another little bit problem in this case what if we add something like uh i want to create monsters okay what about if i want to say the monsters they're hiding behind red ball and i let's type we'll keep it same things and i says uh monster red ball in the kitchen table in a large kitchen and monsters with sharp teeth hiding behind the ball you can see it start confusing the reason is why it's happening because i'm changing i still have the red ball at the beginning and i noticed that if you put it whatever on the beginning it will be your main subject almost okay you have priorities almost this way and when you type like right here it says red ball and kitchen table it is take this heavy um assignment you do have it ability inside the mid journey to add column column and a weight so you can have it how much weight on specific word or priorities set on this case if you write some string and you think the main um subject or whatever need to be more attention paid need be uh not on the beginning maybe on the end of the string or middle so you can actually assign weight to the words and then it's a uh, will mid journey look on this however if you don't want to deal with this put a position so for example uh right here i says okay how about we'll do this way we have it in a dark messy kitchen monsters hide behind the red ball and you can see actually it's come up very good because the monster hide it's before so it's you have a heavy weight and you can right here like on the bottom almost create the perfect shot you can see the red ball something hiding behind kind of kitchen or this so it it start 
getting the point to this. So you kind of creating in this way. Um, also, AI need to figure out how the specific words link together to how they combine. And because it's still kind of on the beginning of the training, so sometimes you need to put it in properly way as well. This, for example, this is a little bit different. But right here, I put a red ball on a kitchen table, ball with the spikes. So I separated, I have a two words and they treat kind of a little bit different because one, it says it's red ball on the kitchen table, which is yes, it put a red ball on the kitchen table. And it says the ball with the spikes as different after period as a different sense. And in some case, you can see it does not know how to translate this. It does try it a little bit in the version to create this, but it does not work very well. So what if I change this? What if I said, well, ball cover? So like, for example, right here, I changed the phrasing and I said, uh, red ball cover with the spikes, comma, laying on the kitchen table. And you can see it's way better result now because what we did it, we specify the description of the ball and after we separate with location. So AI can separate those two if you remember how we did with uh okay right here if you remember what's happening in that uh parsing it actually look and says okay this is description of the ball spiky ball cover with this and after this it's laying on a table so this is kind of important for us to and this is will be more helpful for you probably as well uh, because if you're going to Geek at Play, go to Mid Journey app and you go to search for Geek at Play, you'll notice I have it some pre renders here. You can search for them. The best parts about this because you can more look on the prompt what was using and analyzing. So, example right here is the first, and let's go click on this, and we can see on a prompt red ball, comma, blue doll, yellow car. So, let's analyze what's happening here, and you can see it's even separated with the commas. So try separate them, but AI still does not know priority, what need to be set. So in its look, it's created car, but it does not know if it's red. I will have it no point of the doll here at all. Ball was recognizing very well and some coloring as well in this case. So this way we can see it is um, try to organize. To help, you can always set the weights and weight is going um, column, column, and you put it number anywhere from uh, minus, I think it's even accept less priority to this. And it's actually sometimes helpful because if you have a very complex line and we'll look later on this very complex line, you can go inside and actually set weight on specific words, you know, how much priority you want to give it. Okay, so let's go ahead and look on the prompt. And right here you can see I did specify a little bit weight the red ball and actually it does not put comma comma but it's 1.1 was on the red ball and you can see priority of red ball was quite a bit on this one yellow car and a doll so it's it does put some weights um when it's display here it does not showing very well but you can always go ahead and just look like a copy prompt and go from this area Okay, so let's go ahead next. I want to add a little bit more complex to this. And right here you can see we'll have it just the commas without weights. So what if we have it red ball, comma, blue doll, car. And in this case, it's kind of start understanding because it is separating them because it sends it's separating objects here. And we can see we have a yellow color a car and it definitely it's kind of try to assign yellow car. So it's kind of a little bit better in this way. We have a blue doll. It's still kind of using <laughs> assigned color, but doll is will have just only face of the doll and red ball. Seems like it's have a very good luck with a red ball. So we'll keep this intact. And next I says, okay, what about if I want to make more complex? Let's see how we can specify um, in the next. And right here you can see I add a little bit more description. And when you add a little bit more construct or interactions or description and inside it seems like mid journey does way better on this for example right here i said the red ball on top of the blue doll 
and actually this bottom one kind of going red ball above the red blue doll and notice now we have the blue doll actually coming comma blue doll holding yellow car in their hand that is going to be a little bit hard and i think this bottom one kind of maybe it's holding car inside i don't know on details definitely it was confused in the version three quite a bit and sometimes this complex going so we'll need to reconstruct even it kind of distributed and if i spoke with you i says uh red ball on the top of the blue doll and blue doll holding yellow car in the hand you kind of understand for definitely for the um ai for this one it does not work this way so we needed to put a different way on the description to make sure it's work but it is already you can see how better it is performed because we have it a definitely red ball on the top of blue doll and a yellow car i think it's kind of try to create but i don't know how many um it can create in parallel and sometimes this one because um have it no um idea honestly on the how weights work it's all behind the scene with a mid journey we can i can only guess how it does and uh, it's we may kind of running out of the conditionals when it started doing with this so it may separate it okay so let's say now we need to change subjects priority because we remember i put that red ball was top so now i want actually my main character to recognize there was a blue doll so on this one it says blue doll holding a yellow car in her hands red ball laying on a doll's head and you can see it's try even better to do again if these have a problem with something but right here we're getting a little bit more closer to what we want to do and i remember what i said before in the video it is more art than technique okay so right let's look what we have it we have the blue doll we have it some head and it's try to figure out whether he may i think it's blue eyes for some reason pick up blue hair maybe we also have a yellow car car and uh, how the diffusion work in the weights it's created this two-dimensional diffusion between a yellow um, car or a yellow color and how they're related so it's a reason i can see how it start trying to recreate this but again yellow car here hand a red ball laying on a doll head um i think the positioning on a doll's head did not actually compute very good in this case but red ball laying we have red balls in some cases so it's again it's try to figure out but it is much closer now because we do have it right here actually it does holding in a hand but it's holding yellow ball not yellow car in this case Okay, so they continue experimenting. And one thing what I found with the meat journey, it's very interesting in a way how it's assigned uh, weight. So I think it's a lot of pay attention to the details, to the description when you do, do with that. And I'll show you later what I was meaning by this. But just to compare um, about on the same string. So right here have it, a blue doll holding a yellow car in her hand. So then we can see right here we have a doll, um, doll in blue dress holding something yellow in her hand. So it's a closer what we can get it. However, we don't have a red ball on her head. Maybe head was cut off or some other one ball. But overall, you can see how it's going. Let me show you as example. So if we're using stable diffusion, which is uh, still using disco diffusion using as this, but it's have a different parsing and look what's happening here so they, we have a little bit actually better result on my opinion here it's more for the realistic but it's point not this but you definitely see the blue doll with uh, maybe sitting on car holding car we have the red ball so it's it's a uh, come up with a little bit closer to the description what i said to this and of course the by the parsing and assign properly weight it is i think uh, Dali is the best okay on this one I'm not necessarily happy it does not use the actual disco diffusion it's called clip and other ones as use different type of render it's why it's realistic all the stuff but you'll notice as the parsing of the text and assign weight to this I think this has worked very well look right here we have actually blue doll while well, her face is yellow in the blue car but it's get closer and a red 
ball on the top of the head or right here even we have a car with yellow stuff that she's holding hand and she's holding ball directly on her head so it's all with exactly the same string blue doll holding yellow car in a hand on the top of the head of her head laying red ball so this one you can see how it is very close actually did to that description what i ask you to do and again this is basing on a parsing but it doesn't mean that um, if you want precise creating like this image or um, let me see if I have a new one. I think the another one description tested. So with experience, this one is blue doll holding your car on top of her head, laying red ball. So similar, we can see we have a yellow car. We have it some doll. But again, it is a little bit confusing. I think in the parsing and assigned way. So what is meaning we need to work around this? We need to figure out what we want to do. And at this point, I got bored with the yellow cards, red balls. So I'm says, okay, how about we're going to create something creepy? Like for example, right here, I says, well, let's create a dark gloomy room and notice how much more description I start putting in because understanding that it would string of mid journey it's creating those details. It is not just take this main three objects, what I had before, three objects with descriptions and locations on this object. I just put more description and try to find the environment. And I think this is the biggest string of the mid journey when work with the digitalization and all this environment. And by the way, because um, the Dali does not use a disco diffusion. It's have it very limited on the amount of details and details where we want to use it currently. So I'm right here I put it the dark gloomy room, which is actually perfectly. It's my main environmental what I want set on the wooden floor laying red ball. And we can see actually right here we have a red ball, some on the wall, probably gravity change there, but it is red ball laying on a floor, volumetric lighting. So we have this nice glowing light, which is actually very good. From, uh, coming from broken windows and it's actually defined very nicely you can see broken windows in other areas uh, broken photos in the frames on the wall this is actually additional details and almost very hard to get in this okay uh, you probably want to put it in descriptions together because many times if it's too much it's kind of start ignoring some of those but you'll notice in the other versions we do pull up some photo frames in this case chaotic view creepy feeling tiny spiders hiding in the shadows it does try to create like and right here you can see a little bit spider a little bit in some areas but it is um trying actually creating kind of nice well we'll look on the experimentation in a second so let's go next and right here example was similar but now i says okay what about if we try with different styles and i did upscale and I'll explain how upscale work a little bit different here and why I think Mid Journey have it one of the best idea on upscaling versus some other ones. But here you notice we have it at the apply style. So William Adal from a little bit darker kind of style going with oil painting. And it definitely does. Um, best things about adding style, and that's what I recommend for you when you do um create your text prompt styling or reference to specific art will help remember what i said it's going to this area where it's a reference to specific set of libraries and everything by adding styles and adding this it's help the uh, ai to pull out the images what is a reference just imagine when you create this have a two uh, hundred million images or more even okay and let's try to dig through all this find right based on the tags what people put it in i bet nobody else before did blue doll holding a yellow car with red ball on top probably nobody done that before so it does not necessarily need reference reference specific elements on this okay so let's go next we'll do different style in this case and this is without oil painting we'll increase those as well we'll go on other ones and this one will have it with a photorealistic so it's what different between oil and photorealistic sometimes it's a bit harder to see we'll uh, have it some separate one increasing in size we'll look on those closer in a second just overall i'll show you 
different versions. And you notice right here, I was adding Unreal Engine and adding Unreal Engine is will try to simulate. Many times when you see Unreal Engines, usually I see a lot of respond to add uh, depth of field like on this third image at depth of field and add a little bit more volumetric light so i think it's a reference whatever library it's accessing it's try to reference this as well art station at spitsfy um this one art station training cg artist all that stuff it is try to address specific tags same ak and high details here's things about this it does not care about AK resolution in this case, okay? It does not care about high details. Remember, it is trying to go on this cloud right here. It's trying to go this tag images and look on this. And of course, what people tag when they render latest render, latest newest semi-realistic, they put it AK tag there. They put it 4K tag. This is high detail clouds or something. And this is tags. This is what looking for the reference. So again, this reference, it does not say it will do this. It's what people tag when they create an Unreal Engine. They put in says Unreal Engine in render. So the AI, when it's trying to create, it will look and says, oh, does it look like those people who does in Unreal Engine? Does it look on those ones? And so on will create it. So this is the reason why we do uh, sometimes you want to add. So it's going to specific areas. Um, next things the ratio it will affect and the reason is why it's effective because it's limitation on how it can process and it's process in a size maybe 256 by 256 or 512 by 512 pixels and when you change ratio or scale it's actually created different so for example um probably in a stable diffusion will be one of the best this example on this so you have it options right here when you render by default it's going 512 by 512 but i can specify higher size 1024 by 1024 or different ratios and for example if i go in and i says hey i want it single let me show you actually better than it says i says i want single portrait okay a single portion of the girl wearing helmet not what's happened it's not single person it's multiple and the reason is because it is a render as an image one portrait in the squares but because they are 1024 by 1024 it's a render one square and after combined together i don't know all techniques how they do this but problem is you can see right here it's a definitely four different areas Mid journey have a better approach to this than other ones and what mid journey does it's when you render and you select i want upscale this is a smaller size it will take one of these with the same seed everything and it's work upscale from this if you done in disk diffusion animations you'll notice you can specify what percentage you want to start next frame so it's already pre-render it's how they're done so they utilize very smart that way and you don't have this overlap how say in other um, applications we just not handle this like for example stable diffusion you will have this quite bit problems with multiple faces even you specify single because it does its render probably in four areas right here and each of them will be render different face and after this try to put together so that's back to our speaking so right here when we render aspect ratio it does change but because it's a split in some rendering you may have a different result in a better look or worse so try change usually what i do portrait or landscape because it's look a little bit more interesting to me i almost always use them and right here you can see it is same dark gloomy all this stuff only my um render was a little bit different ratio it is i think two to three ratio on this one and it's definitely come up now with the because details separate them and it's put it right ball on the bottom but now it's paying a little bit more attention to the spiders so it's start putting them inside and notice if it was before done with it just normal you have it attention was spending just on a ball and don't have this many um spiders so i found out 
from, from testing all the stuff. If you change ratio, you are actually putting more descriptional details inside your image. Okay. You can play around with this, see if it's work or not. If I, maybe you find different ways. So right here, another style was done with a different person. I just want to see how they will affect. And some of them actually, uh, very close and it does help again, se uh, separating to putting specific styles. It's help AI to narrow down with what it's will create it. So let's look a bit more on a closer ones. And when you upscale it, these will add more details because it does not generate before. And now you have those, remember split on the square. So it's going to create more details in, and it is what created. So right here, same, we have it there, um, close up when it's a dark, gloomy room, it's original was creating. And it's actually, you can see it's working very well with descriptional, um, language. So it's what I like about this. Okay, right here, this one was with a painting, if I'm right. Yes, welcome painting. And it does be careful with the painting when you create it. What I find out, it's create this noise and it's a base, I think, uh, uh, proper. What I usually put it, it's like smooth or other elements there to tell, reducing on details if you want oil painting. So this is our another ones with a spider. So just overall web spider, broken glass. And I think it's tried to even put pictures in a scenery. Okay. This is our, another one's painting simulation. So we look on a ball. It actually does a very good job on this. Same like right here, we have it with photorealistic and in photorealistic, what I noticed it's not necessary. We'll create photo photorealistic, but you'll notice we have it a little bit more shadow. We add a little bit more glass. And this is what I find out almost always put now photorealistic, even on a painting pictures, because it's add some little bit more interaction between like reflections and other things. So it's try to do that as well. Okay. We have it. Another ones here with the same oil painting, red balls. We have it pictures kind of on the wall and you can see it's actually start working. Not bad. Um, adding all those details to the elements. Okay. This is different style when it was created and I do like it because because it try to play with different artist style. You can always go online and says, Hey, I want to find creepiest, uh, abstract artist and let's give it name and you can just put it this name on the end. That's what kind of right here. So you can put it all these different names, different elements and it can work. By the way, this is upscale with the Unreal Engine. So what I say, you can see the volumetric light, Unreal almost, uh, also will have a little bit DOF, if on this case, not that much DOF, but in some other ones, depth of field. And also this is a reference to the libraries where I want to them look at. Okay, right here, we have a little bit different and you can notice it does not have a red ball, I just decide to create a red floor. But what I added, it's a very clean render. And even, you notice it's kind of confusing sometimes because we have a chaotic view. We have details, but at the same time, low details, very clean view. It doesn't mean we lose some details, but I notice with this, we lose some of this pixel generating kind of noise. And most visible was if we're going like in this image, look right there. Okay. You can see how this pixels, you see how they're going around. So to avoid this, usually it's what I, add, for example, a cleaner look, and you can see it's removed some of them. So if you specify, you also, if you don't want to use the tags, you can always go ahead and just says, Hey, render with a lower, um, resolution. So it will do this as well. Okay. Here's another one. So we have it with a wood again, very clean, and you can see how it's applied. It's unreal use, uh, for the release unreal. So we have it nice volumetric, same light. But we still have very good details render and this is not the max resolution so max resolution will render even more add details so the same from another ones it's just four different badges what's right here it was rendered with a clean look and you can see it is add details but it's clean look okay i know this video getting a little bit longer but now i'm going to leave it more a uh, practical look on the as examples and we can see on those text strings, just analyze and showing you what I done with text strings to achieve specific look or other things. First, 
the best way to learn them. When you're at this point, you understand the weight, you understand the how all is created, understand the reference to the artist, reference to library and how ratio may affect. Uh, now, the best way is by example. So you're going to type in, and I recommend for you to go in a community feed and just check what people done here. So for example, you find something very interesting. If you click on this, it's have it beautiful. Let's have it R right here. You can see it's have it all descriptions, everything. You can also click and go a copy command, which is give you also ratio and everything or copy just a prompt so you can create your own. Notice it's very nice um, description. Also, if you look on this, you notice you have uh, the tags and this is tags. Another tip that tell you what AI think is most important. For example, right here, we have it eyes. God is beautiful and we'll see a beautiful face, blue crystals, white eyes, pale skin, white smoke. So this is what's priority or tag hashtags. That is was get most priority in this case. And goddess, eyes goddess definitely was ignoring in this tag. So this is will help you to see what priority was set on this one. So if we go back to these tags and we'll go on right there on this doll, you can see the tags not set on this. So it's start confusing. So it is important for us to it, be sure the set we have those tags in. And again, we can look around and you can see some of them don't if it's small string. I think it's a how priority also assigned with the um, AI, but some of them do have it. And this is may help you as well. Unreal Engine. I don't know how they pick up Unreal Engine, the main tag in this case, but it's tell you what is was giving priority on this case. Um, as you look around and you see something that you like it, for example, this image, you can always go inside, preview what is was using. Also pay attention to the commas because it's actually important separations the way I pay attention. And in this case, we can say flowers, tropical plants it does pick up right here, tropical plants um, based on the weight. And I think if we re render this one again, it's probably tags may change as well. So it is um, need to figure out how the AI will assign it tags or priority. So in this one case, when I'm working with this, I have said before, I assign priorities by base it on the weight and I'll put a string right here. You can see weight it's putting by um, double columns so you can separate. Well, you can add says, hey, I want 1.5. I want higher weight, all this stuff. So and you cannot go total in negative weight. So a negative uh, all weight for all your strings need be around one. So you cannot have it like minus 10, minus 10, minus one, minus 0 0.5, so on. So you kind of need set. Okay, so this is way how you can go and check. I will highly recommend hands on. But let's go back and see what we done here. For example, right here, when we thought tag, this one was creating 1950s barber shop. And you can see you don't necessarily need very complex strings to description. Like for example, before with the red ball, all the stuff, I start putting a lot of details. Here you can go straight barber shop 1950 vintage this is word very nice stock to remember vintage will add this older look it's actually in some case will apply even a filter of the vintage vintage or colors again photorealistic photorealistic does not mean necessary it will be um like real photo but it does pay, give it some better result what i found when i created and mostly with reflections and lighting in this case Kyle details, photorealistic, okay, double wording, it's probably ignore some of them, and art station trending. So it's very simple. If you look on this, this is all what is taking for this barber shop in the 1950s, and its main subject description. So it's was going, try and find illustrations, pictures, and create from this rest. It just descriptions of how it should look or whatever. Um, this one was more interesting to creating with the dogs. An example right here, I want to create a portrait of the border border collie in a Rembrandt style. So for me, Rembrandt style, it was most important. And I want to be sure it will take in consideration. Even if it does not set as a tags or other things, it is still Rembrandt portrait. 
I put it as a first because this is the main thing. It's what I'm focusing on of border collie. So these two together become the main subject. It's what it's about. Rest is just descriptional, so it's add additional details. And you notice right here in the fancy dress, rifle color. So it does not even ignore that one sitting on the throne up front of the red velvet and the Dutch flower. It does recognize flowers. It does recognize some elements, but because it's creating from the random noise, you usually want to render several permutations, see which one will come up closer. And you can, from that point, you can actually uh, keep on spawning more ideas. So right here, you can see same things and same words, same things, nothing changed up front red, but you can see it does pick up. So it does not pick up up front of red velvet, does not recognize how it's positioned, but it's pick up very well. The flowers, not Dutch flowers, Dutch flowers will be different colors, but it still be flowers and border color definitely identify this one first. It's what I was going after. Okay, so it's a several different looks and I think it's kind of fun, you know, to create these portraits. And I notice also I do in a portrait mode, uh, two by three. Again, if you look right here, this is our scale. If you create a little bit longer, sometimes you'll notice, you remember how it's a split. You'll notice second eyes. Uh, let me see if I can find somewhere. Uh, you may have a second mouth, second eyes under, because remember it's a split in two. And that reason, because this is will perform the best um, Porters, if you do square, natural square, and up top scale, so it will do the best. But general, it's actually did a very good job here. So we can also create additional the painting, some words, and um, remember some of them will be ignored because too many. But overall, it does have it kind of assigned to the style. So right here. And this is um, actually, I think it's permutation from other ones. You can put more than one, the reference to artists, to the areas like behind, it's from Adobe, but some of them game filter. This is somebody else did it. I tried the prompt play run. That's what I do. Same going on the prompt, find and try to create, add variables and see how it's work. However, some of them like the Photoshop filter vector, it's one necessary will produce, but it is will reference to some work that using that. Okay, here's another thing with border color was trying. And you notice right here without Rembrandt. So I put it Rembrandt afterwards. And this is important step because priority originally, if I put it Rembrandt border, Rembrandt portrait of border collie, then we'll getting this portrait look like more Rembrandt writing. If I set priorities not at the beginning, and after portrait of border collie Rembrandt style, it does creating, but it is because portraits it does not necessarily do in this old um, Baroque or kind of old style as well. Um, render landscapes, same. You don't need to be very complex. I will always recommend creating a simple string, simple your main subject what is about, and later just add additional variables and see how they happen what's will going on. Okay, here's another example of the blending together spider made out of roses, pastel colors. I noticed when you put it different palettes, it's actually accept those palettes and work very well. Same as golden hour. So right here, we can see sunset, it's representing as a golden hour, pastel colors, it's what in representing this and spider made out of roses. Well, it's kind of but made out of roses, but yes, it is. It's kind of have roses and all the stuff. So it's actually compile, uh, put it almost everything that I wanted as well. Not all the time you need to look on permutation because AI did, but it's still learning. And it says, Hey, did, what do you want it? Do you want this kind of creating this way? Okay. Some priorities is not necessarily showing as well. Example right here, it's made and you can, let's look on this. So you can see this semi anime looking breakfast, maybe made creating, but a couple things let's analyze very fast in the string and notice right here, Android made girl. So it's total ignore this Android word. Okay. Priorities. If we're putting the um, separate, we probably can take this Android boot atop. It says 
Android made girl whatever just set priorities on this because it is definitely was ignoring um, but also problem with this it is what is reference to because if we set this string okay and you know what let's we're going inside for um, the dali and you can see right here how is the rendering again because it's a style it does not necessarily look on android it is because it's what reference to um specific so if we go right here and we say this illustration all this stuff this is will override it and we need to reduce some of this to create more android look so see what is most important because as I, sometimes the weight will not work as properly as you need it the one of this i showed before in the beginning it's when created all the room goblin style you remember images uh, different types what they've done on a different levels included like uh, disco diffusion and um, same what we've done with a dolly or with a stable so what i like about mid journey it's amount of details if you put this and sometimes you don't need even specify this is a very simple string but mention cables some interior some the stuff and it's enough for that to create a very nice looking so um don't get hang too much in details because many times they could be ignored depending on the weight but it is some important part overall i will encourage you to go to the mid journey app um go and search for the geek at play feed or other ones if you want it and check on the prompts what i do a lot of time i'm going and i'm playing with a prompt so i don't just put it one prompt i'm putting in i see what does it create for me do i like it how it's look i play a little bit with a setting with a amount of text uh, sometimes I did create very long, just for fun, very long um, description, everything. Problem is they get lost because how the parsing work and separating on a string. So it does not work very well. Um, the one thing, use it commas and period. So for example, right here, it's my definition of what I want to see. Okay. Um, next, I still think it's a little bit too long on the subjects because we have it border collie and robocop outfit so it's kind of put it this one chasing flying saucer so now we have it actions chasing so it should be separate actually by comma or other things so it's separation because i think because it wasn't separated it's get lost in this style norman rockwell and you can see it's kind of style in his painting anime it's another style applied ultra realistic high details and real engine so unreal engine will give me a little bit more on the blur background for some reason it does and there we have it some funny things on the border color so creating this way um not always <laughs> description you put it come up with you want it for example people made out of the spider web crawling up the hill i don't see any people it's a recognized spider it's recognized some web but it's definitely miss on that portion even it's put it up front people made out of so i don't think it's very well understand some of this um, english so it's need to be more uh programming so it will be uh, people wrapped in uh, some some words maybe understand better better people wrapped in a spider meal or some other things because i notice if i put it like people wrapped in a wet silk it's actually did very good people made out of wax it does very good however if you do the like made out of spider web it does not reference does not find very well so it does not necessarily creating and you can see right here it's totally not what was in description so let's look at this people made out of a spider web crawling up the hill on the top of shiny portal with another universe this is totally ignored on this if you see it does not even come closer however seems like a rest of the lot of spiders in the dark web bottom small fireflies on top we have teeny tiny fireflies surrealism high details for it so it does have its spiders surrealism flowers kind of um 
mix, I think it's ignoring a lot of stuff. And this is problem happen with some more complex when you start creating complex things, they just get lost. So start as always start with very simple descriptions, like right here, panoramic, realistic, and right here, here's another one. So it's a very big description, a lot of stuff to do here. However, it is in some cases confusing. And this is was experimental from other things confusing and it does not go on goal because you can achieve exactly the same things with just one or few lines of this. And here's an uh, example of simplicity, diesel punk city. So and it's when this it's created the city. However, um, because diesel punk should be together, it does not create its diesel. It just says diesel and a separate word punk. And it's look like a city, city of the punk colors. Sometimes it does give it priority to some weird styles um, that shouldn't, but I think it's again based on the reference. So right here is example of the diesel punk when it's the a little bit better, but again, it is dark street going in the beginning, a wet stone roads, we can see them, dirty smoke, narrow streets, people in a gas mask. So we can see some of them gloomy place, oil spills on the street. So you have kind of descriptive things, elements, and it's probably what I find it's best working this way when you have it small, separate by commas or periods, period if it's more um, descriptive, and you just go over this and I put a description of the place, and it's actually work very well when I do this um, with the multiple different elements as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look on the text parameters, what you can put it. You'll start, give it commands. And first with a forward slash, it is a command. So imagine it's our command that will give it to uh, both that watching on the Discord to start creating for us art. After imagine line, you need to pass parameters. If you don't pass anything, it will still render, but it will be totally random what it will create it. But forward slash imagine and we press enter again, it will come up with a prompt and we need to put it prompt inside. So this is up to you what you're putting my usual way how I do. I have it my main subject, additional subjects, descriptions about details. Maybe I want to do colors, pastel color, whatever styles. Styles can go with the, like Rembrandt style, um, art station, Unreal, whatever you want. And the reference, maybe you want to go with a uh, sorry, like reference art station or other things. So it's you can go all the stuff. So beside the text string, you can also putting some um, image references. So in this case, you can upfront before they're your main subjects, so you can have it uh, reference up to images, images, you can go ahead and upload it to the discord. And when you upload to discord, you can reference them as well. And um, images will affect, but you will also have a control how much they will affect or blend with with your environment by putting image weight and I will look on the options that we can specify afterwards. So beside that, you can also have it the weight on a subject. So for example, you have it your main subject. And as a string going, you can notice I have a double column and you can put it one is a default. So by default, if you don't put anything like subject four, it's a weight of one, but you can prioritize. So for example, it says my subject three, it's very important. And I want set priority two on this. So it will be pay more attention to this or a subject two. It's less important. It's okay. Kind of, it's not there. So you can set priority less. So you can play around with all these different priorities. If you have one longer string, it does help sometimes to set what is more important in the, your sense, what is more important text prompt by setting those weights if you need it. Then speak about uh, other things. Let's go look on the some options. And right here, the our options, it is all different ones. It's actually a lot of options, but this one I think kind of will help maybe. And let me explain what they're going. First, it will be expect ratio and I used almost all the time this it's why number one expect ratio you can have it for example 16 to 9 or 2 to 3 first is going our horizontal and next our vertical so it can say horizontal to vertical aspect ratio this will change also how it's rendered and you saw from some examples it will render different add details other things Q 
it's a quality stand. So if you have a dash dash Q space, remember it's a space between this and number. And two is a highest. It used to be five. Now it's a two. I think they redu reduce. I don't know if they go back to this, but by default it's quality one. Quality two will add more details if you want the details. You not always want it. Remember in the oil painting they are done before with the pixelization. You actually don't want the details uh, quality. You want a little bit lower in this case. You can also specify just width and height beside specify the aspect ratio so you can control by this if you want just specific size to create as well um next is a no tag no tag for example if you want to remove it for example if i want to create a burned down forest i can say no green leaves or no something so no it will exclude whatever you put after from that uh, render when you will create from this creations next it's a stop it's when you need to finish so if you notice sometimes it's going it's creating very very blur gaussian cloud enough to become clear 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 but it's look okay till it's come to last step mostly on the portraits you can see this quite a bit and a portrait comment it's come up why you add those details so you can actually stop you can stop a 90 progress 100 it's a all complete 100 percent but you can stop at any uh, render to have it less details and less sometimes it's better it's more a seed this is if you want to recreate same image because sometimes you notice you create image and it's used exactly same parameters and look different because again it's creating pearl and noise it's sort of randomly generating but you can control to some extent with a seed so if you create your seed specific number you can reuse over and over again be sure you just modify some parameters but you like layout you like something happen there for example we can go create scenery of the room with specific seed and after it says it's too much web so i can go keep it same seed just change a subject weight on a weight on a uh, web how much it's weight reduced by a little bit and now i have it less web but everything will look same because my seed will be same number next it's stylization stylization it's uh, how much freedom from the text you give it to ai for example um let's say you create the bear and you says stylization very high 20,000 and it's create deer look and says well let's look alike so it should be okay or if you have its smallest one i think it's like a 650 or something 650 some stylization lowers 625 i think it's latest and then that is meaning it will try to be exactly what you're wording so this is how much sometimes when you experiment you're not sure of what concept arts work very well when you have it higher sterilizations because it's allowed you to experiment iw it's an image weight this is well related to our image of reference and this is highest number i think is five or we can try higher but it is says how much you want the image affecting and a lowest number will be less effective. So if, for example, you put portraits and you want to just add Rembrandt oil painting over your portrait, we want to be IW5. So it's keep it as much as can this portrait, just add additional elements. So you can always play around with images and see how they work. Um, Besides, they have it some additional settings you can do, but those ones, it's much easy access, not in the string. If you just go in a type forward slash settings, you just type this, press again, and you will have it this new menu come up, which is very useful for this. And settings, you can see it's my currently settings. You can always change them. It says mid journey versions. Right now we on current three version. You can roll back and see what's different there. are. I still think three is the best right now. You have a stylization beside type in a stylization 20,000, whatever you can just go inside and set. Remember this settings is permanent for till you change them. So you don't need to type all those parameters in. You just write here and it will constantly same like with a quality base quality one. You can have it high quality Q2 instead typing all the time. You just keep on this reason is why I'm typing because they are different from my images and I'll just have it my basic stylization set on this. Uh, settings and other ones I can go and change when I need it now you'll notice also right here I'm in a relaxed mode you can switch to the fast mode it's go against your time but currently when I did it this was in relaxed mode and use regular upscale light upscale by default if you click it can go in a, I don't need to do light upscale on this usually that is just normal regular and public or private mode private mode will be cost you extra $20 
Um, the reason is why it's here, not just pay, because sometimes you want to make your art publicly. And even you subscribe to private mode, you can switch to public and your images is posted. And when you don't want it, people see your prompt, your images, you can always go back to private mode. So in this case, they're not visible to people um, outside. Okay, so this is about all settings. It's way more there, but I think this is kind of important that I'm using day-to-day -day image, all this stuff. And uh, some of them will kind of play around, see how they work with you, how they're created. How say that if you work with a like your string you're creating, you want just work with a, oops, wrong thing start. You want to work just with a, um, how much of the subject just be sure you created seed create your seed remember this seed and after you can go to specific subject and play with the weight and see how much the will affect on Siri to kind of a little bit more touch up redefine um, what's coming up with this